So today, I'm going to share with you the best way to transport your bike. It's of course the Bikebox Allen Aero Easy Fit. I've been using this box since 2020 and it's been an absolute lifesaver due to how quick it is to pack. With my step up to pro racing, I needed an easier way to transport my bike, especially as modern bikes are continuing to become more and more complicated and awkward to take apart. Therefore, it's a lot more time consuming and there's always the potential for things to go wrong. Up until this point, I've used a Polaris hard case box which did the job well but it would take me around 40 to 60 minutes to pack and unpack the bike. My TT bike often needed me to remove everything attached to the frame such as handlebars, seat posts and rear derailleur. Like I said, it did the job but I was missing out on cheaper flights and less hotel nights stayed because I was spending more time having to take apart and rebuild my frame. I know an hour doesn't seem like a lot of time, but to race all day and then to fly on the same day or in the morning the next day, an additional hour is everything. The last straw was when my DI2 had a complete meltdown at a race. Because I have to remove my seat post and therefore the battery with my old Polaris box, when I rebuild the bike, the junction box, in what our best guess was it did a factory reset and therefore I had to, with the help from a random bike shop in Spain, do a complete reset of the system. This was one of the most stressful experiences of my life and it took 4 hours to fix one day out from the event. An upgrade was in order. I did briefly look at some soft bag bike boxes, but even though they have some benefits, mainly in their weight saving, I do not trust them to keep my equipment safe. I do have some friends that swear by them, however, I know all too well how easy it is to damage carbon and therefore I feel a lot safer using a hard case. When I stumbled across the Aero Easy Fit I fell in love. It solved every problem I had. You can easily take three wheels, which as explained earlier is a must if you plan to run a disc wheel. For my road bike, as shown, I only have to take off the pedals and the wheels to get it in. For those wondering, I'm 5'11", so this will be the same case for the majority of riders out there. The only thing that I would additionally do, which adds a couple of minutes, is remove the rear derailleur. It's not required, but I always do just in case. I've travelled a total of 6 flights, 2 train trips and kilometres of walking with this bike box and have had near to no damage received to my bikes. It's made travelling so easy and is another stress removed from the racing weekend. I would also like to say that after my crash in Almere I would have not been able to get my bike home if it hadn't been for such an easy process. After the crash I couldn't really bend down and I was also unable to grip things properly. I cannot stress how hard it would have been if I had to have packed my bike in my old Polaris box. Thank you Aero Easy Fit. The only negative comment I would make is that the box with a bike will come out heavier than other options. In my case, in order to get a 23kg bike total weight, which is what most airlines request, I have to take the bare minimum of a bike plus tools to get it in within that weight class. This means that no additional clothes and food can be added in and is why bike soft bags can be so appealing to other people. This is because you can get away with adding the majority of clothes and nutrition needed for racing or training. This doesn't really cause me too much hassle and I usually travel with EasyJet which is a 32kg limit. In any case, I'd rather my bike be protected than being able to take a few extra clothes. I hope this video has highlighted why I put my trust in the Bikebox Allen Aero Easy Fit. If you have any questions, please feel free to add a comment and I'll try to answer it the best I can. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel to help support me.